It was all set up to be an absolutely barnstorming day. The final stage from Lienz to Lienz of the 2022 edition of the Tour of the Alps, formerly the Giro del Trentino. Just a short day, explosivity and attack-minded riding guaranteed. Plenty of climbs along the course, 114.5 kilometers, twice over the same climb, both different sides, before a final climb, just over 10 k's from the finish to the Stronach. The weather conditions had changed as well, but the leader remained the same. Rainy, cold, just seven degrees out there. Everybody dressed up. Pale Bilbao still in the lead by just two seconds. And Thibaut Pino, a day after being denied at the very last, back in the breakaway. He was alone with David de la Cruz with 40 kilometers to go. Amazing gap of 12 minutes over the Bahrain victorious led peloton. Pino had almost 14 minutes in the GC. But he was being controlled. And there was a danger he was about to lose control himself, losing ground on the man he was riding with. He'd get back up to David de la Cruz, though, with 25 kilometers to go. Once they were on the final climb, all together with 41 seconds on the next of eight groups on the road, and still those 12 minutes on the Green Jersey leaders' group. A final climb of three kilometers with horrendous gradients, though, averaging just under 12%, peaking at around 15%, allowed Pino the climber to get out there and put a little bit of gap between himself and David de la Cruz. De la Cruz no win since the final day of Pachinis 2018, one and a half thousand days ago, and Pino, 1,007 days since his last victory, having been left in tears on the finish line the day previous. Miguel Ángel López, the man who denied him the night before. He was out racing, trying to gain the advantage here. And as they race behind, putting pressure on each other, GC wasn't in the thought of Pino and De La Cruz. Pino taking a gap of around 15 seconds over the top. And Peyo Bilbao, crucially, starting to lose the gap behind. Richie Port put the pressure on. Roman Bardet had followed two seconds between second and first as Pino pedalled frantically to try and take that French win. It was all change. Pino's gap was falling. Valdez was growing. Two races in one we were being treated to at the end of a five-star week in the Tour of the Alps. So if De La Cruz had dropped Pino before, Pino had dropped De La Cruz here. They were back together for the second time with four Ks to go. In the meantime, Balde was putting a good 20 seconds into Bilbao by this point, still with half of the climb remaining. He had his teammate Ardensman for company and Michael Storer as well. One of the long droughts had to end for these two riders. They went into the final kilometre together. Would it be De La Cruz? Would it be Pino? Pino played it cleverly, played it well, keeping De La Cruz into the barriers. The Spaniard was able to briefly get out in front, but the Frenchman gritting his teeth, showing his kick, and finally, yes, finally, pulling it off. The tears turned to triumph, and 1,007 days later, the Tour Mali turned to the Tour of the Alps. A victory for Thibaut Pino, disappointment for De La Cruz, but the story of the day was Pino putting all of those days of hurt, all of that injury, illness, problems, weakness and doubt all away. Returning to winning ways and victorious on the stage. Behind Roman Bardet was hoping to make it another bit of French success. A gap of almost 25 seconds as they came up to the finish line. Ardensman was still hanging on. He'd go onto the podium with his teammate and celebrate. Storer would finish up second overall. And Romain Bardet making it the French connection. Pino with the stage. Bardet, his first GC prize in nine long years. From the Tour de la 2013, the Tour of the Alps 2022. And poor old Peyo Bilbao still having to wait for his first ever GC prize. It all happened on the final stage, won by Thibaut Pino ahead of David de la Cruz and Leonard Kemner with the second podium of the week. Pino, perfect on top of the podium. 
and French cycling daring to dream again. Almost a decade ago, they were meant to be the future. Today, where were the present? Valde winning by 14 seconds, Storr in second, Aronsman third, and Peo Bilbao not even able to join in the champagne celebrations off the podium. A stunning week in more ways than one. We had the spectacular scenery, the aggressive racing, and wonderfully touching stories. Drama, heartbreak, delight, and we're only just getting started in stage racing. Join us soon for the Giro d'Italia.